Okay, this is pretty simple. Just remember, jackburford.com. Shop online 24-7, 365 for the best deal on your next Chevy. Stay local, shop local. Don't be known for buying out of town. jackburford.com, where Chevys cost less. WBONTV.com, here's your daily afternoon news brief for Tuesday. A recent investigation by the Berea Police Department ended with a man behind bars, accused of stealing around $69,000 from the historic Boone Tavern. According to the police report, the former general manager James Smock had taken around $64,000 from daily deposits and another nearly $4,000 from the house bank that was stored on the premises. After refusing to speak to Berea detectives, Smock then was issued a warrant for his arrest. He was arrested and lodged in the Fayette County Detention Center and charged with theft by unlawful taking over $10,000. Kentucky State Police London Post is continuing an investigation into the possible disappearance of a Clay County man after he was reported missing back on Friday, February 14th. 42-year-old Jason E. Davidson of Manchester was last seen in Clay County back in November of 2019. He is described as a white male, standing around 6 foot 3 inches tall, 185 pounds, with brown eyes and possible facial hair. KSP is requesting that if anyone has information about Davidson's current location, that they contact Post 11 at 606-878-6622. The Madison County Historical Society will be hosting an event this Thursday, February 20th, at the First Baptist Church on Francis Street in Richmond. President of the Historical Society, Sharon Graves, says they are excited for the event as they have long awaited to have Mayor Blythe speak at all of their events. Not only is this week's event open to the public, but Graves tells WBONTV about all the other events they have coming up and explains how the public can get involved in order to preserve the history of Madison County. The event this Thursday begins at 6.30 p.m. and is free to the public. For any other inquiries about getting involved or participating in the Society's many events, you can visit the Historic Society webpage or Facebook, which is listed on WBONTV.com. And on this newest edition of Hometown Recovery, WBONTV spoke to local resident Charlie Walden regarding his story of finding balance in his life after years of alcoholism and two jail sentences. Charlie's story is a first for the series as his recovery story began during his stint in jail. During his time there, he found inspiration from an unlikely source and continued his recovery from there. You can watch his full story up now. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.